I'm in Lanzarote at the start of the Rourke Transat. Um, I'm here with Ollie Cottrell, who's the skipper on Infinity 46 Maverick, and he's going to show us some of the interesting features on the boat. This is the probably the most unique feature on Maverick, are her DSS foils. These foils enable us to achieve boat speeds that are unachievable of, on any other monohull of her size. Um, they have lots of sort of unobvious benefits when you start to use them and get into them. Um, it allows us to carry a much larger sail plan than we would otherwise be capable of carrying because of the dynamic stability and lift that they generate. And to be completely honest, this is going to be the future of fast monohull sailing. So here we've got our canard. Uh, it's a, it basically replaces the canting keel when we're going upwind. Uh, the keel cants and when you put this down which generates the lateral resistance the boat requires for efficient upwind sailing. This is another feature that we use on Maverick quite a lot. These are called constrictors. They replace um, traditional jammers. Uh, the advantages are they're a lot, lot lighter. Um, they also have no moving parts so they're almost maintenance free. Um, basically if you need to maintain them you're just replacing the sleeve. They work basically like a Chinese finger trap. So when you extend it, it won't allow the rope to come out um, and that's pretty much it. They're very light and uh, so far we found them to be an excellent piece of kit. So on board Maverick we have uh, hydraulic systems. We've used the hydraulics not only in the keel but also in the traveller and in the vang and the reason for that is that we basically always design the boat with small crew numbers in mind so we race with about eight people it means about three or four people on watch at any one time. It enables us to control all aspects of the main when the main trimmer can have the traveller and the vang at his fingertips along with the main sheet. So it's a very useful system and it keeps uh, crew fatigue levels down and it allows for quick trimming which is important on this boat. So another nice feature is that we have quite a unique rudder system. First of all, the steering cables are on deck and accessible. And second of all, the rudder is able to come vertically out of the rudder stock, which means that we can take the rudder out at port or at sea. And a nice feature is that our canard actually fits in the slot. So if we were to lose our rudder, if it was to break, uh, we would be able to take our canard out and place it in with some wooden wedges and it would be enough to get us home with good steering. If the cables fail, then they're accessible and we can change them. And with two helms, it means that should one fail, you can just move to the other helm. A nice other features should we have to use emergency steering, we can attach handy billies to the bolts out to the sides of the boat and that's another method of steering. I've come out to Lanzarote to test the Infinity 46. I've learned a lot about the boat and I think possibly what I've learned today is as interesting as if we were hammering along with the foils out. Certainly uh, this boat is not a one trip pony. It's easy to get very uh, absorbed in, in the foiling and the extra speed. However, there's a lot more, there's a lot more diversity around what this boat can achieve. And talking with the crew, I think one of the interesting things is the way that it can switch modes between inshore characteristics, responding well in light winds, and that extra power they're looking for offshore. <laughs> this is a boat that's still in development. Uh, the crew are working very hard with designer and boat builders to make adjustments to get the best out of it. And the Atlantic is gonna be a really big learning curve for everyone. But from what I have seen, this is a very interesting boat and we should definitely watch this space in the future. Thank you.